Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the e-innovators where the pandemic situation is happening all around the world. We are here to make your quarantine as productive as possible and mine production is again as similar as possible. So in this video, you will understand how to prepare a 7 segment counter using Arduino Nano or UNO. So let's get started. Before getting started, let's gather some information about the 7th segment. 7th segment is an electronic device used to display numeric decimals. Mostly, there are two types of 7 segments available in the market. Common cathode, common anode. It is widely used in digital clocks, electronic meters and basic calculators and many more. So now we've gathered some information about the 7th segment. So let's start with what components are required for the circuit building. We will be using a breadboard. Arduino Nano. You can also use an Arduino UNO because both have same digital pins as we've used in the programming. One common cathode 7 segment display. Center pins on both sides are common. We need to connect them both. If it's common cathode, they are positive, otherwise they are negative. We will also be using a 220 ohms resistor and some jumper wires. Now it's time to stop the theory and start with the practical work. Center pins on both the sides, we have to connect the 220 ohms resistor. Other terminal of both 220 ohms resistors, we have to extend the wire and connect them to the ground pin of Arduino Nano. Connect A point of the 7th segment display to digital pin D7 of Arduino Nano. Connect B point of the 7th segment to D6 of Arduino Nano. Connect C point of the 7th segment to D4 of Arduino Nano. Connect D point of the 7th segment to D3 of Arduino Nano. Connect E point of the 7th segment to D2 of Arduino Nano. Connect F point of the 7th segment to D8 of Arduino Nano. Connect G point of 7th segment to D9 of Arduino Nano. So now we are going to upload the code and for that we are going to open the Arduino IDE. 
where we need to select tools where we select board and select Arduino Nano and also set port at which we connect the cable in our PC or any other device. On the top left corner, click compile and run to burn the code on your Arduino Nano board. Before moving on, I would like to add that the code file and all the links related to the video are in the description below, so please check it out and help yourself. After uploading the code, as you can see, our counter from 1 to 10 is completed. So guys that's it for today i hope you guys liked the video if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible also join us on facebook and twitter the links are in the description below we'll be back with another video shortly so see you guys in the next video peace out